welcome to my channel hope you are well today because we have another DIY to get stuck into in this week's video we're looking at more of a beauty DIY in particular making your own DIY hand wash and hand cream now we are all washing our hands a lot more recently I mean we should have been washing our hands anyway but because of what is going on in the world we are all looking at washing our hands a lot more to stop the spread of germs and viruses so I thought I would have a go at making my own liquid hand wash. I've wanted to do this for a while and I've finally got around to being able to have a go at making it. I have made soap before from a pour and soap base, so I'll link them in cards above if you want to have a check out of them as well. But the basis of this liquid hand wash is Castile soap, which is an all natural and eco-friendly soap base to use which you add other ingredients to to make them a bit more fragrant and usable for your skin. Then because we are washing our hands so much they are going to dry out, get sore and get cracked so we want to keep them moisturised as much as possible. So after making the soap there is a DIY hand cream for you to have a go at making. Now this is a bit more of a butter, like a body butter than a hand cream so it may leave a bit more of a greasy residue to your hands but it is super moisturising and will help with those dry hands. So if it sounds like something you would like to have a go at making then let's get crafting. To make the hand wash you are going to need some liquid Castile soap distilled or cooled boiled water, almond oil, vitamin E oil, lavender and grapefruit essential oils as well as a pump soap dispenser. You want to start by adding in the water to your soap dispenser. Now you want to fill this about halfway full which is approximately three quarter cups worth of water and you want to make sure you are doing the water part first because if you do the castile part first it will foam like mad when you add the water so the water goes in first then you want to add in your castile soap base so you want to fill this in the same amount of quantity as the water so three quarter cup full and you will see that it brings the mixture pretty much near to the top of the soap dispenser Then add in one tablespoon worth of vitamin E oil to the Castile and water mixture. Add a further tablespoon of almond oil to the mixture. it's time to add in some fragrance to your soap mixture using essential oils so add in between 10 to 20 drops of essential oils I am using a mixture of lavender essential oil and grapefruit essential oils and these just give it a really nice clean smell and leaves your hands really nicely fragranced be careful that you don't add too much essential oils because these can be harmful to your skin so make sure there's not too much going in and if you're finding that it's not highly fragranced you may need to just keep shaking your soap mixture up because it does tend to mature over time. Once your mixture is ready place on your pump and give the mixture a quick shake this will just combine a bit of the ingredients all together and allow you to pump it up. Now the mixture is very runny so if you don't like um, a thin liquid soap there is other ways of thickening it with like a water salt solution but I left it this because it doesn't bother me it still lavers up nonetheless so there's your DIY hand wash To make the DIY hand cream you are going to need 85 grams of coconut oil, 50 grams of shea butter, 28 grams of olive oil and 3.5 grams of grated beeswax. You will also need 1.6 millilitres of essential oils to fragrance your cream. You want to place a bowl over a pan of hot water and add in your beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter and olive oil, allowing these to melt down. 
may find that the beeswax takes a little bit longer to melt than some of the other ingredients in this so always add the beeswax first to give it a little bit of a head start on the melting process. Once everything is well melted you want to remove this from the pan and allow to cool slightly before adding in your essential oils. I have chosen to use lavender and rose geranium essential oils in this recipe but you can use any essential oils that you like, you may prefer different ones to myself. So you want to start by adding in one milliliter of the lavender essential oil and then for the remaining amount you want to put 0.6 milliliters of rose geranium to the melted wax mixture then mix it in thoroughly to make sure that the essential oils are fully combining with the oils and butter in this mixture you then want to let the mixture completely cool down and you want it to start forming a bit more of a solid look but not fully solid so to quicken this up you can place it in the fridge or the freezer or leave it to stand on the side to begin to harden once your mixture begins to look like this you want to get a hand mixer don't use one that you use for baking cakes because you don't want any of the essential oils going into your cake and begin whisking the mixture thoroughly and until it forms more of like soft peaks and it's like a whipped cream type consistency this can take a little while with a hand mixer you can use a standard as well and it will be a bit quicker but this is the effect that you are looking to achieve once you've got the right consistency to your mixture you then want to begin spooning this into your awaiting container now I am using a leftover lush pot and it is one of the larger size lush pots and this filled the pot so if that should give you an idea of what size of container you need to place your hand cream into now you want to make sure that the pot has been fully sterilized as well so I use 99% rubbing alcohol to clean the pot and make sure it was clean inside and then your DIY hand cream is ready to go There you have how to make your own DIY hand wash and hand cream perfect for keeping your hands clean and moisturised during this difficult time that is going on in the world and forevermore I guess because we all should still carry on washing our hands once this epidemic is over. So if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up with more of my crafting and travel antics when we get to travel again and check out my blog link below because there's always a post for every video that I put on here with a bit more information so be sure to check that out as well and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye! Time.